hi guys welcome back to my channel so i finally decided to come back with this makeup look um i decided to make this video a few hours back i really wanted to film for my youtube channel so i decided to do this look this is my go-to look uh when i go to the beach when i go on a tropical holidays and it's kind of simple it's kind of bronzed it's glowy and with some gloss so if you want to see how i created this look then please keep watching okay so let's start the makeup so this is my bare face i have not applied anything on my face i do have some spots and some discolorations so i'm going to start my base for moisturizing my face with this product i don't know how to pronounce this but this is one of the best base um i've ever used this works as a moisturizer and this is also a primer i think yeah it's also a primer it is one of the best product i've ever used for base i used to use um clean lip foiler and then i used cetaphil i used cerave as well i, I do like cerave and cetaphil it's really hydrating but nothing can beat this one so um you should definitely get this one i got this in dubai i think it's available or or um so yeah this is the moisturizer it's called embryo lip okay so after moisturizer i never forget to use eye cream so i'm gonna use this eye cream from lancome so i never forget to apply eye cream before i do my makeup and before i go to bed and also when i do makeup on my models my, on my clients i always make sure that i use eye cream so for the foundation i'm gonna use this foundation from dior in shade 030 it's kind of dark for me totally dark for me but i do prefer looking a little tanned a little dark so yeah okay totally all over my face and i prefer using brush to blend my foundation I really don't know what makeup look am I going to do today. Let's see. So I'm going to use this concealer from Chanel in shade 30 beige. So, totally, totally with the logo suma. Because I prefer my base really light. Here, here to get that highlighted face. So after my foundation and concealer, I will be using small brush to use powder and I'm using this powder from Laura Mercier. It's one of the best translucent powder. So dab the powder and just apply under your eyes. I don't prefer baking my under eye. Um, Afuma and when I do makeup on my models as well, I hardly bake if I want my makeup to last for maybe 15 plus hours then i do bake my under eye but this i prefer using powder with my small brush and this brush is from morphe and just use the powder and i want rest of my face to look glowy and less powdery because this area is really dry so i never use um powder around that area so yeah i'm gonna contour my face with this bronzer from bobby brown in shade two medium two i think it's a bit too much so i don't really contour my face um your everyday makeup ma. i hardly contour if i really have to go to some special event or you know if i'm doing some photo shoot then i do contour my face but i prefer my makeup without contour but i just felt like contouring today okay now i'm gonna contour my nose and to contour my nose i'm using the same contour powder and small brush um this is eyeshadow brush but i do use this to contour my nose a little bit too flat 
adjustable but fluffy and when I contour my nose I like to make upgrade two lines first do it aside butter from here and from here and yes a little bit here as well because I do feel like my nose is too too too, too sharp Good. and then create one line here to make it look round and cute so after I do, after I create that line, I blend my nose contour with my finger. So the contour is done. Now let's move on to blusher. So I am going to use this um, NARS blusher, liquid blusher in shade Orgasm with my finger. Now I'm going to use highlighter and I prefer liquid highlighter over powder highlighter and I really like this one from Charlotte Tilbury. Mm. Hollywood Glow, I think. Beauty Light one. A little bit here as well. Just blend it out. So we're done with our highlighter. Now we are going to move on to eyebrows. I think I'm moving too fast. <laughs> We're going to move on to eyebrows. So I prefer using powder product and soap brows. So I'm going to do soap brows today. So for the soap brows, I need to get the soap brow just a second. I'm going to use this clear soap that I took from some hotel. I don't remember, but you can use bears. You can use soap brows. You can use brow gel as well. So I'm going to spray this soap with rose water. You can spray with anything. You can spray with water, rose water, or setting spray, whatever you have. And then I'm going to take this fully and take this soap and apply it all over my eyebrows. And drag it upwards like this. And you can use a finger to stick it. So soap brows say it's not really long lasting to pick up so you have to keep touching it up. So if you're going out, you might have to take spoolie with you to you know keep touching your brows. And if you're working with your clients or for photo shoots, then you have to keep touching it up every after 10 minutes. That's what I do. So that is how we do soap brows. Now this is looking incredibly light so I am going to fill the gaps with the powder product, powder eye, eyebrow product. So I will be using this palette from Anastasia Burgoy Hills and this ankle brush. So my product is all over. And I'm going to fill Zanza Kali Tonto to make it look natural. So when I used to do soap eyebrows, I used to do, I started doing soap brows after I went to Mumbai. And I was like, I just got to the reason I criticized going on till Q is to your doom singles of style eyebrows. And um, they used to say cruising goes a style eyebrows. I never knew what cruising was. And <laughs> I, I was teaching my friend the day before yesterday. She's from Mumbai and I was teaching soap eyebrows and she was like i look like cruising and she asked me do you know what cruising is and i realized that i never researched what cruising was i never knew what cruising was so um she showed me this photo of Amrish Puri. i think it was Amrish Puri with this crazy you know fake eyebrows like bushy eyebrows and it was so bad and i was laughing because i really didn't know cruising Chris, was actually that character so it was quite funny but <laughs> but I, I do love it i do love um soap eyebrows it looks really natural it might look quite crazy but it is really nice when you have like right amount of 
um, product and the thicker ko length ko eyebrow ko hair tha wane, it looked natural and nice so I like this so with our soul brows whatever you call dumsi kusing um yeah so I don't know what eye makeup look to do I think I will just um, do some brown bronzed eye makeup look if you know me I'm a huge fan of bronzed eye makeup look bronzed makeup I like looking brown so I think I'm gonna do this bronzed eye makeup look um, so I'm gonna use this product my favorite product from Tom Ford it's a liquid not liquid but it's a creamy eyeshadow and the shade is 01 naked bronze so I'm gonna take the product with my finger and apply it all over my eyelid. So it's quite easy as well. So I take a log in to my lid. And so your makeup say I do when I go to the beach and when I'm like, you know, tropical holidays or matsu when it's say I do this. I always use this product and even on my models I do I mostly use this product because the color is so nice and bronzed and perfect brown okay now I'm gonna use Tore under my eyes as well it's a lash line okay. okay and then I'm gonna take a blending brush and blend the lines is it the first time that I'm doing talk through makeup video I think I have done few before when I got ready for photo shoots, but it was not this detailed. But don't worry, a lot of videos coming. Okay, so this is how I do my eyeshadow. It's really simple, but if I want to add more brown, then I do go for some brown eyeshadow and um, take with the same brush and add on top of that. But I think I'm just gonna stick to this and maybe use a little bit of I think I'm gonna use this palette from uh, this color from um, Charlotte Tilbury Dolce Vita palette the Dolce Vita this one the last one in shade smoke and apply this shade on top of this creamy eyeshadow Blend all over. I don't know what I'm doing, but I do love this color. Oh, because I'm gonna blend this a lot. So I'm taking another blending brush and blending the edges again. I love it. I'm going to use a smaller brush and apply the same shade under my eyes as well. So I don't really drag the lower lash line. I don't really drag the dark eyeshadow all the way here because I feel like we look really tootsy. I don't know if it's just me. I never use any dark eyeshadows in summer. Maybe I might try someday. So I like to do yeah, pizza some water and some more lazy. Okay, so I'm gonna use smoke from the Dolce Vita again and add more on my lips. This. Okay, now I am gonna do eyeliner. So I'm using this liner from Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. And so again, I never line my um, liner. So I like to do it from here, bits of bato. I really love this liner, but logo the logo that it just. I don't know. Mirror matro ki sabhi ko zaili pani logo the logo the bitsa ma dry hote hain so I have to keep doing this. Yeah. 
I'm gonna do another one. See, it's gone. Okay, so once I do my liner, I prefer my liner to be slightly smudged. So I'm gonna take dark brown eyeshadow and apply this with a small brush on top of my liner and blend this. So I'm using this eyeshadow from Mr. Uh, the Balm, Mr. Matte. more brown eyeshadow on my lower lash line and connect this liner with my lower lash line okay now i'm gonna um tight line my upper water line with this liner from pixie and i hardly use um fake lashes so i think i'm gonna skip that And now I'm going to use my favorite mascara from Lancome, this one, it's a travel size. And I'm going to use this white liner on my waterline. I'm going to use um, lipstick from the palette. And I'm going to use some clear lip gloss on top of that. Are we done? So I'm going to style my hair. Um, so I'm going to do that off camera because the wire is kind of far from where I'm sitting right now. I will do my hair um, styling video as well someday. So for now, I'm going to do it off camera and be back. Okay, I did my hair as well and I tried to keep it really simple by twisting it left and right and I did some body makeup as well. I mean, I didn't do makeup but I sprayed this Neutrogena body mist all over my body to get that um, shiny, glowy effect. And yeah, this is the final look. I hope you like the look and let me know if you want to see any other makeup look or any other videos so that I can create... Um, that for you guys and um i think i will do q a like maybe day after tomorrow because that's highly requested video by q a part two or down or back so i think i'll do that so i'll see you guys really soon thank you bye bye